So Rohit Sharma and Shikhar Dhawan, the two batsmen out there for the Indians. Uh, the target, a really big one, and he'll need to fire. Strike rate 75.8. And uh, Rohit Sharma starts off with the boundary. In fact, leg by signal. So four on the board. Sharma still to get off the mark. Just a little bit of late shape there. Must be difficult as a fast bowler when you don't really know whether it's going to be swinging or not. And unfortunately for Australia, it's not the start they wanted. No half measures. He went after that hard once he saw he had with Rohit Sharma. And he gets it away to the boundary. India need a good start. Goes over the top. Struck well. One bounce over the rope. Just the extension of the arms. Once he realized he wasn't quite to the pitch of the ball. Well, again, I think a feature of the amount of 2020 cricket that the modern day players think in our time it would have been just about hitting the ball on the ground, but no way, not these guys now. Sees he sets himself for it, keeps down low onto the ball, and just follows through with his hands. So eight of the over, it's 24 for no loss. Oh, fine shot. That's gone like a bullet to the fence. He has so much time. That's his uh, great quality, Rohit Sharma. Yes, this is pure talent. A little overpitched. But he doesn't panic. Minimal foot movement. Still in his head. Throws his hands through the ball in perfection. Almost crushing the ball there. This time through the onside and it's Rohit Sharma. Will it go to the boundary? Yes, it does. This is such a quick outfield. This time Clint McKay, the sufferer, through mid-wicket. A back of a length delivery. And he helped it on its way. This time even a better shot. Just a little bit of width. Playing inside out Rohit Sharma. And another boundary, the second of this over. It's gone to the big one, it's in the air, it's a big gap and it's gone the distance. Brings up the 100 for India and it's a much needed the sixer to take the attack to the spinners and break the shackles. Yeah, this sort of strike will just take the edge off the pressure. He did everything right there, Raj Sharma, he didn't quite get to the pitch of it. Shuffled down the wicket, but stayed still on impact. Carried his hands, trusted his hands, put the ball exactly where he wanted to go there. Ah. Oh. Gone fine. Can he pull it back? Johnson. No, he can't. It's a very, very fast outfield. That's why a lot of people feel it's difficult to defend here. And what a fabulous innings. Rohit Sharma. Getting to a well this is out half century. Well, that'll be four more. Eight runs of the over again. Road Sharma, the man to do it. It's 144 for no loss. In the air. And it's sailing away. That's a great strike once again. From Rohit Sharma, and he's in trouble. It was hot and humid in the afternoon, and he's cramping up. The last thing India wants is Rohit Sharma going back. It was a great shot. He was on the ground. He's got to remove his pads, get the circulation going. Well, he's dragged that well down. Rohit Sharma has absolutely nailed that. Struck down with cramp. The end of slower delivery, but nobody in the deep. It doesn't matter. It's gone the distance. It's unbelievable. Some pace taken of the ball, and he's gone through with the shot, Rohit Sharma, and he's picked up his third six.
243 for one. That's four. Take that. He's short and wide. You can't get away. What's the change of pace? So he had more time to pick a spot, Rohit Sharma. Once again, the change of pace, though, just dragged it down a little bit on this wicket. Rohit Sharma was just able to have the time to set himself and strike like a baseball player. Oh, lovely shot. Now that's classy from Rohit Sharma. And the 100 comes up. The 100 partnership in just 62 deliveries. If Shekhar Dhawan was tormenting them, these two are killing the game. They're taking the game away. Terrific shot. No extra cover on a good batting surface. You just got to hit the middle. Fabulous placement. Again, the ball speeding across the turf. And a lovely square drive there from uh, Rohit Sharma. With on offer, but you still had to put it away. There it comes, a sizzling square drive. He punches the air in delight. Third one-day international for Rohit Sharma. And it's been uh, one hell of an innings. It's a terrific knock. This one pitched up. And he just had to hit the middle of the bat. Oh, easy. Just the extension of the arms. Chipping it over the infield. The 300 comes up for India. It's 302 for one. Oh, how good is that? So good to the eye. This really is champagne stuff. Oh, terrific shot. One bounce over the rope. He's now really cutting loose here, Rohit Sharma. That last ball at 146.3 Ks. It's gone at 200 off the bat. Once again, the same length. Full, wide, over cover. Help yourself. First one was behind point. And this one was over cover. And he's watching something different. Again, four more. It's all too easy at the moment. India running away with the contest. 18 of that last over. 320 for one. It's just one place they're going. They're like... It's almost like the ball has a homing instinct, as if it's got to go and reach the boundary. And I think they're shell-shocked. It's not always that you see an Australian side just looking resigned in the field, having made 359. Well, that'll clear the boundary in India, doing it in style here. Just two needed now. Anybody who tells you that they would have thought India will get these runs with six and a half overs left is lying. I think we're seeing a one-of-its-kind inning, something very dramatic here. I know India needed 320 in Hobart, it was a small ground, got those in 40 overs. This is a reasonable size ground, reasonable bowling attack. We made a mockery of a target of 360. What next are we going to see in world cricket? Yes, the target's been on Australia, hasn't it? Remember the first time John Buchanan came in the dressing room and said that 400 was possible. Now that might go all the way, well played Rohit Sharma, well played Virat Kohli. And India, you've done something absolutely dramatic today. Two men, lots of experience, but so young in years, have shown that the future of Indian batting with these two is in very safe hands. Make no mistake, you'll wake up tomorrow morning and you'll say, did this really happen? That is how sensational this result has been now. Rohit Sharma, 141 from 123. Virat Kohli, 100 from 52 balls, and India chased down 360 with six and a half overs left. I think you must just gently let that sink in to realize its magnitude. Thanks for watching. Please like the video, subscribe the channel, and click bell symbol for notifications.